Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So we finally have the hookshot, the thing I've been wanting the entire game. Um, truthfully, now that I think about it, it doesn't actually open up a lot of things for us, but it lets us get around so much easier. So, so much easier. Because there's a bunch of shortcuts that are just locked to us, uh, all the time. Until, you know, we finally pick this up, and now, now we can get around. Of course, we still can't swim all that fast, so it'll take me a second, but as soon as I get up on land, we can finally, uh, do something. And I don't know if I'm heading the right way. So there's a lot of stuff that we can pick up. There's actually, uh, technically something that I forgot, uh, we could get, uh, already. Um, so we can go pick that up. Also, that's a great thing about this now. Well, you still can't kill the rock guys, but I can get back. Ow! Actually, can this kill you? No, because you're in the air. You're still immune to everything. I hate, I hate those enemies. But now we can get over here. And now that we're over here, we can go up to the mermaid statue, and we have the scale. So we put the scale into the mermaid statue, and voila. Now what's in here? Nothing here. But, a reward awaits us right atop here. We get the magnifying lens. Reveals a lot to us. Um, but really what that means is that... Whoa! There's hidden stuff that we couldn't see before. Um, I believe that those enemies are actually there the entire time. Like, you can get hurt by them and everything. Uh, thankfully, they're not too harsh of enemies. Although, I do forget how you kill them. Can you kill them with hookshots? I don't know how you kill them. That certainly stuns them. I don't think you can do that. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. We don't need to kill them. What does matter is that we have the magnifying lens. And while that's not immediately noticeable, its effects, um... We will be able to get quite a few things from that. Um, next, because we have the magnifying lens, I think I can finally get the picture. Yes, I can. Cool. See, uh, do I need the rock's feather here? Let's get up on the thing. Here we go. Talk to him or catch a big fish. No, oh, what are you going to catch? Uh-oh. He's, he's, he's caught the photographer. Oh, that's, that's a bad thing. Well. <laughs> Can you take a picture of this? And we raise up our sword. And we knock him off, I guess. Alrighty then. Well, that, that, that's a little bit of fun. Uh. <laughs> That's how you get that picture. You have to have the magnifying lens, I think, to do that, because he's also part of the trading sequence. Uh, so, makes sense, you know, and couldn't do it until now. There's a few other things we need to do. I am i can't remember them, like, off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna end up doing them, like, as I remember them. I believe that there's something in Animal Village. It's not here. Or is it not... Or is it not Animal Village? It might be the... It might be in Mabe that I'm thinking about this. But it might be in Animal Village. No, nope, not here. Are you over here? Nope, not here. Wait, the old lady's here? When did the old lady get here? Alright, whatever. Is it here? Yeah, here it is. So you could come up to this corner. And if you have the magnifying lens... You find the, uh, Zora that's hidden here, and the, uh, the pho photographer comes in. But the photographer is not purple for whatever reason here. He is white. Um, I, I think it's a weird thing. Oh god, that's the weirdest, like, face that Link has ever made. It's so not okay at all. Ah, whatever. Link, you can continue being creepy all you want. Oh, we need to go around this way. We can finally go up to that, um... Cave that is next to Mabe Village and get a nice little reward from there. 
I'm realizing my voice is like sort of hoarse and I don't know why. Um, but we can go up here and I'm trying to talk into the mic while like pointing backwards. We can go through here for something. Uh, what? I don't immediately remember. And I may even be remembering wrong. It might be something else. Oh, no, no, no. This is the definitely place. So, you need quite a few things to do this puzzle. First of all, uh, arrow and bombs. You equip them both and press both buttons at the same time. You get a bomb arrow. Quite cool. And then, you can switch to your hookshot and zoom across. And that's where you pick up your piece of heart. So we got uh, two more to get. One of them we can't get until like the very end of the game, which is kind of annoying. Now, uh, the only way to get back, unfortunately for us, is to drop in here. Because that it dictates that as like the place we started, so that's where we can come back to. Um, and I think that's everything in this cave. I don't think there's anything else. So we can finally leave here, and we've got the piece of heart there. Um... I'll be honest, the secret seashells from here are completely baffle me. Technically, I believe... How many do we have? Technically, we have enough to get the reward, like the final reward for it. But, um... Nope, there's actually nothing left in the desert. Completely. We've actually gotten every single thing that we possibly can from the desert. Believe it or not. Uh, and I believe we've gotten everything from Animal Village now. I don't think there's anything else hidden here. Um, the rest is like hidden out in the wilderness. A couple of the collectibles are actually hidden inside of dungeons. And like once we get to a certain point, we're just going to be picking up dungeon items. Um, it's actually kind of weird that way. Um, oh, right, right, right. Uh, there's something we can do down here. There's a couple of things we can do. Down oh, I'm on the wrong side of it. But yeah, there's a couple of things we can do down there. And we should go down there and actually do them because, well, to be fair, I actually don't know if I ever, ever use the reward from it, but it's nice to have it, especially if we're, like, trying to complete the game. Can you not go down this way? Or, oh, I just need the rocks, feather, and pegasus boot. God, this is such a weird combination and I don't like using it. Ah, there we go. That was the first time I managed to do that, wow. All right, and we're gonna need that. We're also probably gonna need the, uh, the rocks feather, but that's okay because we can do it the first bits with this. All right, so I think it is this one to start. Hmm, I think it's the start. Yeah, so we've did, done this once before, and we got to the end and realized we can't actually do it. Again, don't accidentally activate something. Go this way, and then we get to that problem. However, we finally have the hookshot, so we can get over here. Uh, here we go. Go up. Pretty sure that's an enemy? No, it's not. Okay. Well, they want us to go up straight from there. Now, when they mention, like, they want you to go in a certain direction, it's directly, um... Wow. It took forever to get that. Oh, that's not an enemy. You can diagonal attack enemies. You can't diagonal attack bushes. So that is that one right here. All right, and this one wants us to go directly right from it. And from here, we go down again. So we can read this one, wants us to go right, which is this one, up directly from it, left directly from here, which is this one, down directly from here, which is this one, right directly from here, which is not this one, it is this one, <laughs> and you can see where we're going, you're just supposed to only read the ones that it directly mentions to go to. So to the left from it. Whoops. That was my bad. Is that? Great. We did it, and the reward's over here. 
we can go down into here. And there's some weird frog dudes. Mamu. I do vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? I, I imagine him, like, in a very, like, you know, listen to you jam for 300 rupees! Previously unreleased cut. Well, what are you gonna do if we've come down all this way? Whatever. Just pay him and listen to it. Wow, the, uh, the water's flashing there. <laughs> all right. Ah. This is this is kind of terrible. Wow, I'm really regretting the 300 rupees we just paid. That's that's absolutely terrible. No, I don't uh, whatever. But we learned that song. It's a very moving tune. Living up unliving things. Um Feel more alive. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this does. It's either something to do with ghosts or skeleton enemies. No, it just says the same thing. I'm not entirely sure which one it affects more or, or is supposed to affect. I don't know. I Like I said, I never use it for anything. I, I seriously struggle to find a port point in this game. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else here. A point in this game where I actually use that song. In fact, most of the songs, except for Marin's theme, have no relevance to the plot whatsoever. They just exist. Which I guess is cool in one way, and in another way, I almost feel like, oh, no, no, no! Oh. Here, I can try it here. Yeah. So... Oh, crap. That means that the one thing I'm actually looking to get to is all the way around. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, that's all right. We can go all the way around Maybe Village again. Actually, I don't suppose that I could do the rooster now, can I? Or do I need the... Or do I need the, the, the level 2 bracelet? The level 2 bracelet is the... Um, reward from the next possible place, thing, dungeon, dungeon, that's the word that I was looking for. My goodness, I'm just not having a great day. The only thing we're going down here is we actually missed something. Like, I, I technically could have done that little area with a whole bunch of bushes. I thought we needed the hookshot for it, but apparently you do not. Um, because I forgot, the hookshot does, actually doesn't, like, latch onto... Uh, grass anyway, so it wouldn't have done us any good over here. However, I do need to get over here. Ugh, and I wish I could hookshot across this, because it would be so much easier. I really wish they, they had, like, replaced all of the hookshot points, or, or, or uh, Pegasus boot points with, like, a hookshot point of some sort. Just so that you can do it and not have to. So yeah, you can technically do this, and you're supposed to. With only the rock feather and the sword. So you're supposed to do that. And then you can technically... Whoa! Oh, I can, if I press the right button, you can technically jump two. If you time it right. Yeah, see? So you can get over here with just the rock's feather, meaning you can get this quite early in the game. And I'm almost wondering if what happens if you do this before you get a certain item. I've never tried it. Never, like, thought about it. Um, but you also need... Well, I guess you can't, because you need the flippers, don't you? Huh. Well, yeah, you can't, you can't get over here until you have the flippers. Okay, well, that's fine. Then... It's a good thing we came now, not later. I guess we're technically, like, one dungeon behind. We could have gotten this right before Catfish's Maw. But in any case, there's a little thing here in a very, very strange cavern. Oh my god, I'm running low on that. We drop some powder in there. And a demon pops out! He's very angry. <laughs> He'll, uh, get his revenge. I guess, I guess we're ready. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Yay! I, I carry more magic powder. Actually, wait, can I do this with more than one thing? I think I can. Although I don't know if I have to drop the other thing in there or if I drop more magic powder in there? Huh, so... I've, I've forgotten a lot more about this game than I really thought. I actually could have uh, said no when he uh, gave me the option for the powder and he would have uh, said either bombs or arrows. So technically you can get three different things here. Um, he spawns in three different locations. So if you go to one and you get a... Um, a, a upgrade that you didn't really want, you can always find him at one of the other three locations and still get all three upgrades. Um, in fact, one of them we have passed by and missed way, 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 way before. And I'm really surprised that I like didn't remember it at all. I just completely like was not on my mind. Um, we can go grab that right now. And I think because of the next place we're going to, I want to get arrows as the upgrade. Like, a part of me says get bombs because I'm running low, but arrows arrows will be amazing for the next um, place. And I think technically we can actually reach all three locations now that we have the hookshot. We don't need the uh, extra little bit to get the other one. I mean, I could look that up for sure and do it in this episode, which I might actually do. Uh, but let me show you where the first time you can actually get to him is. Uh, and it's actually quite early in the game. It's right after you get the power bracelet. Um, so not that far in at all. I really should just be fast forwarding me going through here, but meh, whatever. You guys get to listen to me talk because this is a let's play. <laughs> it's what it's supposed to be. Um, and it's just up here. There's a mob lin next to a rock. Not that one. Uh, not you. It's a sword and shield mob. Yeah, there we go. That rock. That rock that we've actually passed by before. And I think I may have even commented on it before. But in any case, there's a staircase underneath. And it leads straight here. So let's go ahead and get our... Uh, Magic powder out, and I believe this time I will get ourselves some arrows. I've always wondered, what happens if you do this, like, when you don't have bombs or when you don't have arrows? Do you need the item to get the upgrade? I'm not sure. Am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready. More bombs. Uh, no. I would like... I don't want bombs. Uh, yeah. Arrows. I'm totally ready. Oh, God, this is so bad for... My skin! Oh, yeah. I totally deserve it. Yeah, okay. See you again like he knows. And 60 arrows. That will help so, so, so much in the next dungeon. Because there's so many, uh, Armos Knights there. Did I ever go into that middle place? Oh my god, have I actually never been in there? Oh, it's gonna really bother me. Have I never gone in here? What even is in here? Oh! It's a hookshot thing? What the heck is this? I don't remember this at all. Oh, it's just money! Alright, I guess... It's not a bad thing that we did this. Now that I'm remembering, probably should have actually been, a. Uh, probably should have done something at the beach while we were there, too. Technically, we passed by another thing that we can get now that we have the magnifying lens. Um, man, it's, it feels so good to be done the trading sequence. I don't have to think about where I'm supposed to go next or anything. We're also, almost done the photos? There may be one photo left, actually. The one that I don't want to get yet until the end of the game because I don't know if I need to buy anything. Like, I might have to buy bombs once before we're done the game. I doubt it, but I don't necessarily want to get myself to a point 
where I'm looking for bombs. Because you can't win bombs from the, um, from the carousel minigame thing. The only way to get bombs is to buy them or to find them in a dungeon or something like that. Uh, sometimes if they're, re uh, if they're required for a dungeon, then they will be available. However, if they're not required for a dungeon, well, they're just not there. So I think if we go in here with the magnifying lens, this guy appears. He says he found something good. And he'll trade it for what we have on our B button. So, all of our items are pretty useful. Uh, even the magic powder. You can give him the magic powder if you want, but, meh, why, why? It's pretty funny if you give him certain things, but the one item that we will never need anymore is the shovel. Um, we also, well, I mean, you can also come back and get the shovel back from him. It's not like it's the end of the shovel completely, but we don't actually need it. I'm pretty sure we don't. Even the seashells that we're getting from here don't need to be dug up. Although I could be wrong on that. Nope, looking it up, and uh, no, you will never use the shovel again. There is nothing that uses the shovel at all. I mean, you can shovel things with it. But in any case, talk to him. Put the shovel in B. And we'll trade it, and we get the boomerang! Now, the boomerang in this game is fucking deadly. It is an actually damaging item, I believe. It doesn't just stun. It kills things, it flies, it grabs things for you. The only thing you can't do is pull things towards you. However, it can also break through, uh, shrubbery. It is a killing machine. The boomerang, for whatever reason in this game, is like a razor sharp thing that destroys the lives of everyone around it. Um, I don't know why it's so overpowered, but uh, that's, that's the real bonus for completing the mini game. Getting the boomerang. And of course it comes back to you, so unlike the hookshot, it can uh, wrap around and kill enemies. You can also throw it diagonally if you uh, are good enough with it, which I, I'm not. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little thing like that. It's probably the best thing in the game. It's better than the hookshot in many ways. Um, yeah, it's quite amazing. I love it. From here, Really? We could go on to the next dungeon? Oh yeah, by the way, it's also it also makes really quick work of all this. <laughs> it's just kind of fun. That's the other thing, it's incredibly fun. Um, wow, our power-up's still going. Okay, I did not expect that. Um, from here... I believe we can go to Face Shrine, where we've already picked up the key for, because I did that out of order and I was dumb. Um, or we can go up to Telltale Heights and get some extra goodies, um, which I personally think is what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, we're at the Photographer's Hut, so... No, this is not the photographer. Wait, who are you? I forget who you are. Crazy Tracy, right. For sale? Ah, uh, sure, give me the secret. What? Uh, what? Oh! Oh, wow! We got the medicine! And she, like, rubs it on us. I totally forgot about that. Right, so this is this game's fairy. I'm surprised I never got this. And you can come buy it from her. Um, but of course we already have it, so we can't buy it from her again. You can only carry one at a time. I completely forgot about that. Um, I'm really gl glad that we went there and got it. Well, cool. We got, we got the medicine. And hopefully that'll, that won't have to come into, uh, here. But let's see. Yep, we have every photo but the one that I don't want to get. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'll, I'll show them off once we get all of them, because I don't really want to do that right now. But, uh, <laughs> let's, let's go up to Telltale Heights and uh, explore a little bit, because I don't feel like doing a dungeon in this episode. Although, if I really run short on this and get everything up there, I may just end up doing the dungeon as well. Which I don't think I am, because I look back at the time on this right now, and it's, it's quite 
A long time. No, we're not going up to the Windfish yet. We will be going there, and believe you me, I will be getting lost in that dungeon. Haha! <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a dungeon, by the way. <laughs> so get ready for that! Um, so, there's a few things we can do up here, but I can't remember which place we're supposed to start in. But it really doesn't matter, because now we have the hookshot, and we can get around way easier. There's a whole lot more stuff. Also, I'm gonna equip the boomerang. Also, the boomerang stun stuns enemies that you can't kill. It's just the best weapon in the game. That's a... Uh... Look at that. Look at that corner toss. Oh, no. It... Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, apparently the boomerang can get stuck in the corner. Didn't know that was a thing. Apparently the boomerang can't break crystals. I did not know that. Oh, that's okay. We don't really need to break crystals. At least they're not J.O. crystals. They're not, you know, harming some dude's power. Oh my god, I got a piece of power? I wonder if the piece of power doubles damage uh, out of uh, the second level sword as well. And then can you stack that along with the uh, clothing? Because that would be ridiculous. 50 rupees here uh, with the hookshot. Nice little bonus. Nothing else on the on this side. We will try and go through there, but I don't think we need to just yet. And this leads out to just a regular old chest. So that means that we do have to go through these. Of course, I could be wrong, and this could be the wrong way to go. There are a few things that we need to get. And it specifically involves the flippers, I believe. I can't remember if they're this way. It might not be. Oh, we got that chest. Ow. Pain. Well, we're up on Telltale Heights now. Okay, so it's not this way, because it can't actually get us up here. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm taking... This episode will probably go a little long. It'll probably go over 30 minutes, but... Really, we'll end up getting, like, everything that we can without having the rooster. Which, to me, is amazing, personally. And that's what you need the flippers for, to get up here. And now we can finally go right... Because we have the hookshot. And kill these guys. Yeah, we have two long-range weapons that are just as powerful as the sword now. Because technically the boomerang can also destroy these guys in one hit. And the boomerang's fun to use, too. Actually, I might just go... Uh, let's see, like this. Wait. There we go. I just replace the sword with my boomerang. For now. I'll, I'll use the sword again once I, uh, once we've got the amazing one. So I believe right here. Oh, did I just, did I just find what I think I found? So this might either be, this might either be a bonus or something else. Might either be a bonus or, or something that, uh, we've seen before, actually. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, I remember this part of Telltale Heights. Uh, technically, this is the way up to the next dungeon. Oh, we made a bad, I, I made a bad choice trying to come here. Oh, okay, okay, don't get, don't get hit, ow, they get, they hurt. Oh wow, they only do half a heart. Oh, right, because I'm wearing the blue suit. So I believe I'm actually at the next dungeon up here? Oh, there's rupees here. Actually, I think that that rock looks suspicious, and it might be something. Is this rock what I think it is? It might not be. Oh, no, it's exactly what I thought it was. And we found the third guy! Inadvertently, we have found it, and now we can get ourselves bombs, and that's great, because I totally forgot what the uh, boss of the next place was until I looked it up, and I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should have actually taken uh, bombs. So he wants to get his revenge for the third time, and he can carry more bombs. Yeah, we're ready. 
Give us the bomb upgrade. And, uh, yeah. There we go. We have an upgrade. 60 bombs! I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to use that many. Yeah, whatever. We got 60 bombs now. Um, but this brings a weird sort of thing up. And that I'm not actually sure where I am. Because I don't remember this area whatsoever. Well... This is bad, because I didn't actually plan to, like, explore this long in this episode, but I also don't want to end it, you know, and just stop. Oh! Oh! Uh... Oh! We- we don't have the shield for this! No! Okay! Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay, yep, okay. Okay. Didn't expect that. You need the, uh, not the mirror shield, but the red shield for that? Oh, I think this is just the way to get down, I guess. This will just... Yeah, it just leads us back here. Huh. Well, that's fine. We found quite a few things, and we're gonna be up at Telltale Heights for the rest of them later anyway. So, for now, that's it. In the next episode, I'm gonna meet you guys over where... Um, we got the face key. Uh, very near to there is the actual entrance to the face shrine, where we'll do that shrine and, uh, do the dungeon and get whatever is in there. I already know what's in there, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye bye